rise for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, it should come as no surprise today that we're voting again on a bill that couldn't pass muster because it was cobbled together in a hurry, hidden from the public, and denied any meaningful vetting or debate. Tax reform is hard. It's even harder when you go it alone, cooking up things in back rooms out of the light of day. But the real travesty here is that this bill won't help everyday Americans in the long term. To call it once in a generation tax reform is an insult to those who came before us. Republicans and Democrats who linked arms and through years of partnership and compromise crafted the 1986 bill that House Democrats passed with President Reagan. That's the model we should have followed because the fact is we can all agree that our tax code is out of date and leaves countless families behind. This year, the U.S. Department of Labor released data showing that there were around 6 million open jobs unfulfilled across the country at a time when around 6.8 million Americans are looking for work. I believe Congress has a responsibility to the American people to tackle this problem from every possible angle including tax policy. But the Ryan McConnell plan doesn't just fail to acknowledge or address the problems that American workers are facing today. It cuts people's legs off from underneath them just when they're trying to get traction. Chairman Brady likes to talk about this bill leapfrogging us to the front of the pack. But the truth is, this bill doesn't leapfrog us anywhere but backward. This bill does nothing to put educational opportunities in the reach of more Americans trying to get ahead in the 21st century economy, and does nothing to modernize research incentives that could support new breakthroughs that create the jobs of tomorrow. And it explodes the deficit, making it that much harder to finance desperately needed investments in infrastructure that could put people back to work. Why are Republicans giving away the House to companies whose CEOs are already talking about stock prices, not jobs? As a former CEO myself, I know that economic growth is created by great ideas and great talent, not indiscriminate corporate tax cuts at the expense of investments in the people who have always powered our economy. I think tax reform should be about modernizing the code to make us competitive in the 21st century. That means being fiscally responsible, forward-looking, and investing in families. Unfortunately, this bill is a letdown for the American people, and we will no doubt be cleaning up this mess for years to come, not just today.